There is some late news from Washington, uh, D.C. tonight. Donald Trump Jr. has been subpoenaed to answer more questions about Russian interference in the 2016 election. Also today, a House committee voted to hold Attorney General William Barr in contempt. Nancy Cordes is at the Capitol. The House of Representatives find William F. P. Barr, Attorney General of the United States Department of Justice, in contempt. The contempt vote came just 84 days into William Barr's tenure as Attorney General after Barr refused to give the House Judiciary Committee an uncensored version of the Mueller report on Russian meddling. If Congress is not entitled to the full unredacted Mueller report, one must wonder what document we would be entitled to. The White House accused committee chair Jerry Nadler of a blatant abuse of power and said the vote left the president with no other option than to exert executive privilege to block the report's release. They're asking for information they know they can't have. The resolution now goes to the full House of Representatives. If it passes, Barr would become just the second attorney general to be held in contempt of Congress. The eyes have it. The first was Eric Holder, who Republicans went after in 2012 for failing to hand over documents related to the fast and furious gun running investigation. What is it about these documents that are so sensitive? The president has urged officials like Barr not to comply with congressional subpoenas and accused his critics today of a treasonous hoax. Obstruction, obstruction, obstruction. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Every single day, the president is making a case. He's becoming self-impeachable. If he's held in contempt of Congress, Barr theoretically faces the possibility of fines or jail time, but only if the Justice Department, which he runs, decides to pursue charges. And that seems unlikely, Jeff. Okay, Nancy Cordes, thank you.